Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. We have paged uh, Dr. Paul. How was the drive-in from uh, Cornwall? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. The uh, roads are wet and slushy. Okay, keep that in mind. We're yeah. dealing with a lot of other issues when it comes to our health sure. and especially around this season. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just going to go right to the home in just terms of uh, the safety around the home as sure. to what you end up seeing in the emergency sure. room. Sure. Well, uh, I'll start about the Christmas tree and Christmas tree uh, decorations. So electrical safety, electrical wires, children have tripped over wires, uh, fires have caught, uh, have been, uh, started with the uh, you know, the multi-plug uh, sort of syndrome. Uh, so that's quite important. Um, be careful with the ornaments. Be careful where you place the tree. We've seen kids um, either topple down the tree, get injured, or, or bite on the ornaments, or even bite on the electrical cords. So make sure that the tree is well out of reach of children, and even pets, we've seen that as well. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that's important as well in terms of uh, home decorating is be careful with light candles. We've got nice candles here, but uh, I prefer the uh, those uh, battery ones. They're very, they're very nice. Uh, be careful with the, where you put the decorations. When you're uh, buying gifts for kids, that's another thing as well. Make sure that you buy uh, gifts that are age appropriate. Um, and make sure that your older child's kids are not accessible to your younger child because the younger child may not be um, mature enough to play with the older older child's kid toys. I I'm wondering if you've gotten people sure. in the emergency room just trying to open up some of these toys. The sure. packaging of <laughs> yeah. like you're cut well, up I'm by sure, the end of it. Yes, we've seen that. We've actually <laughs> seen children with uh, actually start, um, uh, actually young kids have been uh, have bitten or swallowed the wrapping, the wrapping uh, itself, which can be toxic as well. As well. So that's, good. that's an important thing to do. The other thing that we tell parents, and this is a time of partying and, and, and either getting a lot of visitors or visiting grandma's house or, or friends' homes or homes that really you're not really sure of in terms of the safety as far as you know, baby proofing or child proofing the home is concerned. So if you're going to go to a house uh, where you're not really familiar with it, make sure you familiarize yourself before you let your child, your children go around, walk around, because in parties we tend to be distracted. The other thing, when you're receiving um, uh, guests at home, make sure that um, afterwards you've cleaned up a lot of the hazards. We've seen children choke on uh, peanuts, on, uh, on no, you shouldn't be smoking at home, but back in the days where a lot of people smoking, cigarette butts. Um, and kids actually, uh, 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 by accident, drinking leftover beer or alcoholic beverages mm. that were left on the table. So uh, that's quite important as well, because I think that uh, um, uh, kids are very curious. Uh, I think too, if you're talking about just picking up nuts and peanuts, that a lot of you you don't know what the terms a guest who has allergies. That's right. Uh, I would sure. I would think you know having some of those things laying around. Exactly. And if you and if you have or if your child is allergic, make sure you make your guest your uh, your host aware. Uh, make sure that if you're going to a hotel or a, or a chalet or whatever that they're uh, taken care of in terms of allergic precautions. Mm -hmm. And obviously, be aware of guests coming to your house that maybe have young children that can have a potential for choking on the peanuts or other sp similar, maybe even smaller dirs and those type of things. Toothpicks are another thing that kids have uh, actually thousands of kids choke on toothpicks year round in North America. Um, and and just uh, just uh, be aware. I think that being aware is the critical part, right? We're not trying to downplay the... No, no. But, but, the, the, but the reality is these are situations that you have seen every year in your emergency every room. Every year we have a child that chokes or bites on a light bulb or swallows a, light, a Christmas light bulb. We see that, or ornaments, those type of things. So, I mean, we, we love to decorate. And speaking of other things that uh, we've seen children choke on, is we see the plants here, poinsettias or other uh, Christmas plants, and some of the, like holly and rhodrum, some of those are actually toxic if children uh, bite them as well. But they're also a choking hazard. So we've seen that so it's not that we want to have uh, you know uh, uh, you know we're not downers here uh, Debbie downers we just want to make sure that you know you have fun you enjoy uh, your, fa your family mm -hmm. and and Christmas and um, do it safely and, and healthy and, and that's it perfect great advice as Thank always you. happy holidays you to too. you we'll see you, you in the new year yes. uh, and just some reminders coming to you from dr. Paul uh, drpaul.com be a great uh, resource and lots of things to find on the website